Hi, this is Franz Cantor, cartoonist, illustrator and toon talker, and I'm here with... Jim Bridges, and I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum. Huzzah! Huzzah! And we're doing um, scrapbook number three of the of Kirby action. Jack comics. Kirby action. Yes, and here is the... Look at that. The dynamics of his panels are, are, are unmistakable. He stood out head and shoulders above all of the other artists of comic artists of the 60s and um, was incredibly dynamic and influential. I mean, the fact that this is, this is a co comic panel that's... Coming at you. Coming at you. So they're so big, the forced perspective, you know, the exaggerated, um, exaggerated perspective of the characters and the things coming at, right at the reader almost uh, was... Um, Complete uh, with word balloons. <laughs> yeah, was, was an incredible feat of uh, masterful... Um, mm. Uh, design 3D and, and was created by Jack King Kirby. Powerful. Yeah. It is the beginning to make the of panels the battle jump scenes. at you the off, battle scenes. off the pan off the comic page. Yeah. Which was never seen before. None of this yeah. was seen before. This was incredibly new and exciting. All these and when guns you're a little eight year old kid like I was looking at this stuff for the first time, it uh, it just it, it made your day, it made your year. Yeah. This was amazing stuff. Uh, all the spears coming straight at you, you yeah. know. To a, to kids, this was as big as seeing the Avengers today on on film. You know these big action adventures. Knocking four guys out yeah. at once. A power that few can even comprehend, and none. I mean, can even hope the comic the comic aspect of this. You know, this is these. Um, you'll have a look at uh, Kirby's um, uh, action uh, poses, which you know, in many ways, are tropes. They're very they're very symbolic, and they're used quite a lot. In slight variations, you know, and speed lines, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the, um, the just the humour involved in the action. So it's not just action; it's humour as well. There's there's a lot going here that um, you know didn't exist before, and uh, in many cases since. Mythic and epic sort of quality. They're all marching off the war. Yeah. And, um, and this is in the thick of it with just a few bits of detail that show you that they're fighting. Same with this, see all these, you don't have to see guys with their heads split open, that tells you a lot. It does. The chaos yeah. of the action of war. Yeah. Of course, Kirby was, uh, was in the war. And this is uh, effects of violence, bam, yeah. you know. Bram. Yeah, and how do you pronounce that? Spuckow. <laughs> and that's the black and white versions we get in Australia. So these Which, is like he would use onomatopoeic words that have a sound effect that have an impact yeah. but these are his these are not like uh, you know um, clip art styled uh, uh, sound effects these are his own sound effects so this is the guy which are unique to his flying characters. towards us bent over this way and this guy's been knocked out of the building by by the thing by Ben Grimm just been pushed it's just with all these so he, he would he would exp he yeah he'd explain action shots i mean this is obviously a trope this yeah. is a, a, a typical pose you know yeah. an after punch shot and this is the impact shot of the character coming at you yeah. this is the character flying towards the sides through a wall so these are things that are um uh, exaggerated to great effect by a master this guy is like no 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 he, he, in comics, he's like Michelangelo. And a few you other know. people as well. Rolled well, up one. I, yeah. I would happily stand him up against Michelangelo if he was alive in the, in the um, high renaissance. So I both about the same height, you know. Yeah. Very short well, I guys. think he would have kicked Michelangelo's butt. Yeah. Whack, whack. Here's his mum. Who's that? <laughs> I don't know who that is. He's about to die. That's the moment of death and oh, egg death. The blade coming in. Yeah, about to die. And this is this is two forces hitting each other at about yeah, the same. Two hammers. It's clobbering time. There, there's that humour again. Yeah. And and here they are, you just have the fists. You don't even see their heads because no. it's all it's just white. It's all like white heat. Yeah. The explosion of the impact yeah, and this wipes is, out the details. This is all the, the bits and pieces floating around. Yeah. Plock. 
when the shield hits his the back of his neck, you know, yeah. there's bits coming off. We know that the shield's not breaking. Yeah. There's something on this guy that's yeah. just broken. Kirby but doesn't for, need lots of blood. For 25th that for, vertebra. He doesn't need lots of blood floating through his face no, in slow motion. there's a lot of shattering and yeah. black, a lot of um, explosions. So, and so here, here he's fighting with the woman coming off. and they're having the conversation and you know they're, they're talking while they're fighting. So mm. that's, she's on one side and he's on the other side. The best exposition. Yeah. Yeah, Action just a beautiful form. way of showing the yeah, story. Yeah, it's a tater tate. It's a, uh, a running gag through the action. Yeah. So I would love to see action, you know, exposed. Uh, sorry, uh, with Well, exposition. they're chatting while they're fighting. Yeah. You know, that's typical Kirby, and this is a It really is typical Kirby. We should see more often. He kicks. These are the... Um, yeah, let's look at that beautiful pose. Yeah, and here he is. He's just holding them all off with one foot. Yeah. Kicked them across. Yeah. The exaggerated dynamics of these are, are uh, astounding, really astounding. This actually, that's the same, that was the next panel. Mm. But he's about to hit him over the head and then she hits him. Karate yep. chop! Boom! Yeah. And the karate chop, fazat. The fazat. Yeah. Don't forget the fazat. Crack. Pow. Okay. This sort Pow of again. mythic fighting. Pow, this is this crack. epic. Battle. Yeah, this is almost a split screen. So there's something happening yeah. in the background that's yeah. shattered the wall. Well, the, the well they're the, wall. the gods and they're above the, the, the minions. They're just ordinary soldiers. Right. And of course, here he is. He's kicking two people with the double the double punch, punch again. Three yeah. people. We saw, that be, we saw that before. Yeah. And this is how he uses the whole panel, like, um, to sort of show the destruction and the power. Here's an early Car -rash. one. Yeah. Crash. Yeah. Spang. Yeah. See, spang. You can even do it because of the uh, resonance of the steel. You know. Yeah. The, well, uh, he knocks him out this way, and then he the crashes shield. their head in this way. Yeah. And this is this is parrying and the bonk. You know, like, look, this is just like yeah. sword fighting. Then. But yeah, the, uh, I can't get a. I can't um, really. Uh, and there, there's a shot they they ended up in. in um, Blues Brothers at the end with all the police yeah. with their rifles with and the stuff. With their guns looking at them. Yeah, and these are explosions. Wahoo. These are explosions. Is that, a, is that someone saying wahoo? Or is that the, the actual explosion going wahoo? I don't know, but they're, they're Nazi um, There's machinery. Vroom, 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 yeah. vroom. And that's cool. the whole vroom. joint's getting busted up big time. Yeah. Yeah. So he loves destruction. Yeah. He loves destruction. How do you show it? How, How in, do you show in, it? In a cartoon, in yeah, a... Yeah, look at the, the vibration. Yeah. Woom! And Krakow tore apart the letters and splask. Skazaz. Zolt. Electric bolts. Then, skazaz. Skazaz. Baroom! Baroom. Well, these, you know, these are comedic, obviously, but they're so effective in the panels. Because they just play so across the So he panel. picks up a rock and throws it for all these visual ballet. These these um, robot uh, soldiers who are going to yeah, get him. That's a nice. Yeah, he's all he's been bashed by the, the the Hulk, so he's trying to get out of all these girders that he's just destroyed. Yeah, he did this a lot. The leg spread things yes. and the view of scenes through the legs. Yeah. This is to give you the effect that the character is so dramatically yeah. powerful uh, yeah. that uh, and, he and has to spread his legs wide to balance yeah. and to get, you know, he's he's got it over on everybody else. So he's braced for maximum damage. Yeah. The doors are opened and this guy jumps out, hands out, you know, stretched out. Exploding the forward. Yeah. Exploding forward, yeah. There's the, the face changing, look at that from Dick Tracy, no. Um, the face is changing and you get this in-between well, shot. lost his moustache for a start. Yeah, yeah, it's gone up there. And this is uh, uh, a caveman Spinning. early wheel yep. cutting into the future, which is... Yeah, it, it so the, that's a from, cut. That's from a 2001, cut. when, when he throws the bone up, you Dissolve know. cut into yeah. another spinning element. And here he... It's a very he's in a, he's in a plane and he pushes his arm out to grab this guy who's flying in space. Well, he's the human torch. Yeah, human torch. Who's, who's just lost his power. Yeah. yeah. And, of course, this is uh, war stuff he did in DC Comics. And, of course, Kirby was a soldier in the war and saw a lot of action. Mm. There's all this whack-whack and... Poka, 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 poka. Mm. And look at this. He's 
the head in there and the pow, 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 and then it just, and the guy says, someone's chewing up the town. It's just, yeah. they're all different. There are definitely two-fisted tails. Yeah. Beautifully done, beautifully Spinning done. Spinning them around and he throws them both up in the air. Now, this is extraordinary. Like, they're in a parachute and these are, these are other planes coming. So, the planes would go much faster than these guys. So, he throws the hand grenade mm. and it's going towards the plane. And the guy sees the plane, the hand grenade coming. So, he jumps out and, of course, it blows up. <laughs> Just, only in comics, folks. You can only do that in comics. And, of course, there's the hand. See the arm mm. going through the bottom of the panel? Mm. Only, only in comics, folks, do you get that? Yeah, it's a beautiful use of sequential art. And there they are with, reading about themselves. With great humour. There they are reading about themselves in yeah, comics. Yeah, so this is almost breaking the third wall. And, and this is Kirby wall. talking to um, to Lee and Kirby. Yeah. And this is... Well, that's definitely breaking the fourth Doc, wall. Dr. Doom turns up and takes his mask off and they're all freak out. Mm. They're just sitting around doing mm. drawings. Wow. And there's the epic there's a beautiful poster, pose. and so a legend lived again. Yeah, that's a beautiful pose. And there's this. Wow. That's that's a magnificent poster. That. Yeah. Here he's caught up in all this. Wow. A bed of electronically controlled kelp, mm. <laughs> sneering me in its artificial tentacles. Mm. And look at that beautiful design. Yeah. Just the exaggerated. Yeah. Rubber. And here he is. He's completely the bounding rubber Hulk. Yeah. Is, Whoosh. Grabbing the These girl. are like a, in, impossibly simplistic designs of robots, but then within the within the design, he captures these incredibly well, um, intricate. Uh, he's, he's, um, he's telling you there's electronics in there and everything. Well, yeah, know? but they're they're sort of very... plus the hand. There's power there, you know. Yeah, but the the designs. I mean, the overall shape of the robot is is very very simple but within that there's there's this like this kirby-esque chrome yeah um that is impossibly shiny and and dynamic i mean how do you get arms like that you'd have to see yeah. and nobody runs like this only kirby characters it's it is balanced but at the same time it, it's it's epically balanced it's yeah. not just the same with here's superman running yeah and of course the cape helps um yeah, this is just a couple of things mm. he does. Yeah. This guy's swinging from, he's going to come through the window. You can see every panel's just things jumping out at you. Here he is just swimming like underwater swimming and his arm's you. behind him and yes. he's got a special device it's to keep. Such an unlikely pose, yeah. but how does he make this work so well? Yeah, and here's, here's a character smashing up the place. And look at the body, the way it... The, the twisting, yeah. yeah. The compositing, the... Um, the opposing and, uh, and, and showing how twists. fast he runs from just from, from behind it really yeah. sort of oof. and here's here's just a joke here holding yeah. up all these people yeah and there's this bending again of yeah. the shoulders and like they're all shooting and of course <laughs> yeah. and this character this character uh, turns the of, um, turns the chopper sideways and, yeah this is um, trapped yeah, fantastic the, yeah, the backs of the building get it gets get taken up in here. It's even above the clouds. It's even that. above the jets. So and that's obviously an, New York. Every panel that's he Manhattan tries to make Island. every panel a uh, novel approach, a new new solution to yeah. This is to the story. Bits flying through space for, from the the, the the debris. Um, oh, we want to switch this around now? Yes. There's some reason why this yes. is upside down. Yeah, and these are some look of the, the chunky, weird characters. The yeah, look at all that character. detail he's made on this guy. Wow. I mean, the back part is obviously a grenadier guard, and he's got all this extra bit and a, a bit of horn sticking out mm. there. So he would obviously research a lot of this and then apply his own laws. Yeah. Of um, costume Kirby design laws. and character design. Kirby laws. Yeah. Yeah, I cut this out. Toxel. I cut this out because it's really powerful and mm. it's sort of lost a bit in here, but the, it's not in colour. The composition is much more powerful like this if yeah. you drop the horizon down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, there's not in colour, but I just thought it was... Um, and these are just extreme things. This is what Fantastic for uh, Mr. Fantastic does with his... And here he is reaching out of the jungle. They're in Vietnam and they pull the missiles off, the missiles plane off a plane. Off yeah. a jet. yeah. And because he, he can, he, and, can't, and he can't stump, he can't um, uh, stump his fingers or yeah, you know, because they're rubber. And this is what only can do in comics. Like Ben Grimm holds a book and just crushes it into dust. Yeah, and um, and here is 
the Hulk. I think he puts out a fire or something by pushing over the le- uh, over the trees, and they all swish back, and it puts them out or something, if I remember. Mm. Yeah, the Red Skull. And there's these Galactus, Mole Man. Yeah, there's a beautiful Dutch look, tilt. Look, look, look at all this, all this, the monster from Mars. And these are just different um, monsters. types he uses. Um, these are, yeah, these are monsters. This is uh, Red Skull, mm. the ultimate monster. Beautiful. Flat, tapered fingers. Yeah. Flat, uh, uh, squared fingers. This is just a, a, an, an African mask, but yeah. um, he's Here got he a bigger body on him and he's smashing detail. up the trees. He's, yeah. he's coming through the jungle, he's smashing Smash. up the trees. And this guy, um, the living mace. Mm. And, and this is one of the... Um, the, the sleepers mm. they're incredible they're incredible ca- incredible characters well they're simple but within the simplicity there's this incredible detail yeah. in the um in the rendering of the shadows and you know especially with chrome and things yeah you know and teeth i mean these are like yeah. ivory tusks these yes. teeth yeah. in the monsters there's all of these deep hit these details which are ultra ultra kirby of course and, yeah. and went on to influence uh you know, many, many artists like uh, Mike Mignola as Hellboy and uh, certainly... Uh, oh, so many. You know, ben 10. Yeah, so many. So, yeah, that's well, a beautiful book. Thank you for that. That's, um, um, that's, that's Kirby Action. Kirby Action, Volume 3, the, um, the Scrapbook Series. Yes, the Scrapbook Series. Okay, well, this is um, Jim Bridges. Um, check us out on Patreon. Yeah. And if you, like, Patreon. if you like what we're doing... Support give it, us there. Yeah. But come on over because Patreon's got a... A really cool uh, blog as well. So yeah, um, tell your friends about us and yeah. share us on online. Okay. okay. Okay, bye-bye. This is Jim Bridges saying goodbye. And Franz Cantor saying goodbye. Ciao.